good morning. So we're in Chatel and we are headed for like a 60 mile ride with 12,000 feet of climbing. So usually you would consider every 10 miles with a thousand feet of climbing, like climbing. We are doubling that. Planning on going for an epic ride. Me, Jeremiah, Alex, because we got nothing to do. I have nothing to do. I am in Europe and all I have to do is eat and ride bikes. Your boy's a free bird. So we take off on a ride that I would say is my number one ride I've ever done in my life. There's no way to top this. We get up this crazy gravel road that was so gnarly and then it opens up to this view that's just like stop it stop it stop it whole trip i'm just thinking this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome whole trip thinking this is awesome this is awesome i've i've, I've overused that word we're descending down this thing and I just, I'm like, I don't understand how this exists. How will you go back to normal life? How do you go back to the normal roads? And I live in a freaking amazing area. So I can't even imagine if you just, you know, lived in a just whatever town, whatever city, and then like had to freaking go back to riding bike lanes in traffic after being here. And then we get into this little tiny town and it's so beautiful, everything is great. The bathroom was so clean, it was phenomenal. Dude, Switzerland has the cleanest bathrooms. 
I mean, did this whole like experience. Switzerland is just balling out. Uh, like this is their bathroom. And I can sing really well. <laughs> Very nice. Much nice. There's many nices. whole crazy ride I get back to where we're staying I go Alex you have to come back out and watch and do this ride because he had he had done something different uh, I think he was working and so then and I was like dude I didn't have my drone I didn't have anything I have to film this so I literally did this ride twice just chilling dude just chilling on the border of Switzerland and France no big deal no big deal it's been a big day we did this huge ride then I went back and then I was like, I have to drone stuff. So we came back. So I've done two laps of this route. We're waiting for Alex. Uh, we hook up with this guy who like works on the glacier somehow. I'm not totally sure exactly, but he's like super smart about it all. Uh, then he took us on this epic ride to go watch the tour uh, come through this one town. in another place, many nices, many nices this place, Michel. Gee, Switzerland, save some beauty for the rest of us, bro. I currently feel more connected with my physical form, my well-being, my mental health, my existence in this universe. My self-identity is at, is at 100% complete. I know who I am, I know my truth. Let's say the goal is to fill your water jug, okay? Right now my water jug is full. That's great. But let's say the goal is to have the most weight possible of water. Well, with a significant other or partner, let's say both your jugs are only half full. Combined, combined those two jugs have the same weight as one being full. Now I have a family. Now I have four water jugs in the family. And imagine if we can have them all be full. The combined weight and what that would feel like. And so even when say I'm only like 50% full and my wife's like 75 and my kids are like 80, the combined weight of all those jugs cannot be matched by one jug alone. So I'm just chilling, drinking espresso, living my best life, and then here's Cam Jeffers. Fun to see you in France. Good. <laughs> Wild. Good thing I'm feeling fit. Go ahead and drop him. Go. Yeah. Come back. Hey, see, it's just a fun bar. We found some people from uh, America, and uh, we're just kicking in uh, some chairs. You. Uh, the tour's gonna come. 
right through there. Everyone's waving their national flag. And then Mateo Jorgensen, who I'm like homies with on Instagram, was texting him actually, but he's in the breakaway. And so I had an American flag and I'm just so proud to be an American. Like, Mateo! And I was like waving this American flag and we have an American in the breakaway and it's just like, but not in a negative way, not in a like, America's the best, everyone sucks. It's just like, you're proud. And so then I was having such feelings of, of national pride and country pride that then I just stuck this flag in my pocket for the rest of the ride and was just like flapping this American flag out my pocket. And, and the vibe was so, top five vibes I've ever had in my life was on this ride, flag a flapping. So here's the schedule for literally a week. Wake up whenever, ride for as long as you possibly want, eat unlimited food, repeat. Content wise, I was crushing. And if you wanna go back and watch, uh, I have it all story highlighted on my Instagram so you can actually go through every one of these days. And we're just on this epic adventure. Europe sounds so Europe. in America, dude. You get up to a view like this, you're in the middle nowhere. Uh, but there's just, it's just insane how many of these little huts are everywhere. And so it's all, it's like training, so it's like almost cheating. Like you could bring like one bottle and you just fill up. Also, you can get across Europe. Like you can go into all these different countries. You could ride hundreds and hundreds of miles with really just two bottles and some money. Uh, in America, bro, there's no way you can do that. Now, we head over towards this glacier. We get to this uh, tunnel. Now, I was just telling you how awesome America is. This is one thing that I was like, man, Europe rips for this. And that is zoning, regulations, safety. <laughs> like, we got to go to this tunnel that took you through the dam 
that was only big enough for like a tiny little car uh and there's many ways to die and there's just one sign that says beware but you get to do it we get to ride through this tunnel in america zero chance this is the craziest place that i have ever ridden my bike you can hear this waterfall rumble above you uh, wow. it's it's beyond explanation this, you have to do this. In your life, come and do this. Oh. Ho, ho, ho! What? What? There is zero chance America is letting you take on some self-agency to not kill yourself and ride through this tunnel. And so it's such a bummer because like, what an amazing experience this was uh, to ride through this tunnel. There was a car coming the other way. It was like unbelievable, dude. Uh, and so like, it was the greatest ride I have ever done. I would say I'd put this day at number one of every ride I've ever done. And it all hinged on the fact that Europe allows you to yeet yourself off a mountain if you so choose. Now we go find some food. And then is my favorite part of this trip, is going and finding dinner. After we've ridden all day and climbed all the mountains and saw all the sights, eating. I had a sense of personal joy and, and connection with my soul, with myself, that I have never had in the past. You know, with a lot of people, this is pinnacle of life. Could not get better. Just you doing whatever you want. And it was great. It was awesome. It was the time of my life for me. And so, yes, I'm experiencing such an amazing sense of joy and, and greatness but that literally doesn't even compare to the scale that my family and my wife are on. And you're gonna be like, that's dumb. You're just lying. You're just trying to get brownie points. But I wanna tell you, I was afraid to go because I was afraid of how much I would enjoy it and that I might resent my family when I got back. Just being honest, super honest. I was worried that when I tasted this amount of freedom, that I would, I would second guess who I am as a person. That didn't happen. The opposite happened. I was so grounded in who I am and the things that I believe in and the things that I enjoy, that when I got back on my plane, so now I have this on my stories about like this planes, trains, and automobile things, but Everything, bad, 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 didn't matter. Didn't matter 
because I had this cord to my family and they were, I was like, I cannot wait to get home. And so I, ha I put this in the France film, but as I'm running through the airport to get back to my family, I'm not even joking you, this smile on my face was a natural produced joy that I have yet to feel in my life. through the airport and I get to them and I'm just embracing them and squeezing them and, and it was this moment of like am I on the right path in my life have I made the right decisions yes you're not gonna believe me calories is so wild because you wouldn't think how many calories are in this but this little plate right here is 1224 calories 69 grams of protein 183 grams of carbs because this right rice which we've been using uh, has actually a ton it's a 10 grams of protein per 180 calories so just this rice right here and I measured it out uh, 896 calories, 49 grams of protein, just in the rice that's on here right now. So how easy would it be to just eat double that and be like, well, I don't understand. Like I'm eating healthy. I'm eating rice and broccoli and carrots, but I'm gaining weight. I mean, if I didn't count this, if I didn't count these calories, I would be eating 2000 calories right now. No problem. So for the whole day, 441 grams of carbs, 184 grams of protein, 88 grams of fat. Uh, I did two protein bars, blueberries, these little peanut butter bite thingies, uh, some grapes, some protein powder, then the the rice, the these little Thai meatballs, like they're like made out of cashews, and then some roasted carrots, a little bit of broccoli. Now again, tracking. And the oil, bro, how many calories are in olive oil is unbelievable. Do you actually know, side thing, Christopher Strasser, who's like the legend in ultra distance, when he does his 24-hour records, he just eats spoonfuls of coconut oil. I'm going to try that. 
I, I, me and Jeremiah, our last night there, we had this dinner for two. It was like so romantic. It was so funny. And we did these like courses and every one of them was just, it just blew me away at how amazing the food was in France. Now in Switzerland, it wasn't, it was, it was very basic. It felt very American, like very Amer Americanized, like prepackaged, all pretty straightforward, like nothing crazy. In France, everything seemed custom, homemade, made right there. It was good. How do you deal with me spending so much time away riding bikes? Um, well, I think that we are together a lot. I think that's what a lot of people don't see is they put their life and their daily schedule and project that onto what ours is, but that's not the case. We're with each other a lot, all day, almost. And so I like having the house to myself. I like being alone sometimes. That's just my personality. <laughs> how, how does your wife deal with you leaving out of town? She's stoked on it. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm stoked at first, but then, you know, it gets difficult and then it's lonely. But, like I said, we're together most of the day, most of the night, like only when you ride during the day is when we're not really together or if I'm doing something. So we spend a lot of time together. It balances itself out to where people have a nine to five job and then they come home and then they go ride they're actually gone more than you are in the grand scheme of things. Anyways, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And as always, Vegan Cyclist. Yeah. yeah. You appreciate me or you appreciate them? I, I, of oh. course I appreciate you. <laughs> it's just funny because you're like, I appreciate you, but I don't know who you're talking to. Uh, yeah, keeping it vague. Everyone thinks I appreciate them. <laughs> Access granted.